Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. So for today's topic, uh, I've chosen on this agriculture infrastructure fund. So this is a uh, fairly a new scheme, right? So today we're going to talk about uh, its main aims, what are the outlays, right? And also the beneficiaries under this and some important points also we'll be trying to cover this under this topic and we'll also solve a few questions in the end right so please do watch this whole video till the end right uh, so my name is Hansa Nora Sama and I've done my bachelor's in horticulture and I've also completed my master's in nematology and agriculture so uh, before going further if you guys are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and you can also press the bell icon out here for further notifications from our channel so that you get updated about the recent um, information about the upcoming exams as well as you can also uh, get useful content from through which you, it will be helpful for you all to clear your exams okay so uh, if you have liked this video don't forget to hit the thumbs up button as well okay so let's talk about this scheme so this scheme's name is agriculture infrastructure fund okay so this scheme it was uh, the cabinet okay so they approved the central sector scheme so remember this is a central sector scheme all right and uh, of they approve the financial facility which is under this agriculture infrastructure fund so this is a new uh, pan india central sector scheme right and this scheme is under the ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare right so before going further i would like to uh, tell you uh, whenever you try to cover the schemes what are the things that you guys need to keep in mind while studying the schemes okay the first thing that you guys need to keep in mind is this launch date when it was launched okay the second thing is main uh, its aim which are uh, its objectives why is it used so what benefits are the people going to get through the scheme so these are the aims okay and as well as the outlay how much uh, money has the government issued for or sanctioned for this scheme for this particular scheme okay and other the beneficiaries as well who will be the uh, ones benefiting under this uh, through the uh, the channels through which uh, the farmers or the people will be getting one through this okay another one is the timeline all right so the timeline will be the duration of the scheme okay so how for how many years would be and the last one is significance what significance or what impact it has on the uh, people and how much work has been done under this scheme all right so these are just like a general overview that you guys need to read up whenever you cover any scheme so uh, now let us look into the aims of this scheme so the main aim of this scheme is that to they will provide a medium to long-term debt okay and this uh, will be uh, given by a, a financial um, help will be given by the government through this and this will be for the investment in other viable projects which will be related to the post-harvest management infrastructure a lot of times we often forget because in India we have a, a bad post harvest manage, uh, management infrastructures okay so even if uh, your once you once you have produced all the crops once you you already have the produced crops so after that comes after the harvest comes is for post harvest management so what will come under the post harvest management all your storage transportation grading processing procuring of those uh, produce from the fields right and to the doorsteps of the uh, person or the consumer all these chain will come under your post harvest management so and this is a very important because a lot of times a lot of losses that go in agriculture goes through this post harvest management because we don't have a proper storage we don't have a, a proper transportation facilities right so even if the farmers are producing a lot of amount of produce if those produce cannot be reached to the consumers then there is no points right so for that this scheme is developed right so and this will help in the uh, proper infrastructure for this post harvest management as well as in the community farming assets as well and this will be done through the interest subvention as well as the financial support okay so these are something about this main things that you guys need to remember about this scheme okay and now let's just move on so what are the significance under this scheme okay so guys if you guys uh, can understand this if you guys have any doubts do comment by the comment section to drop it in the comment section and we'll be um, 
answer, we'll be answering or clearing your doubts at the same time, all right? Okay, so uh, now uh, one thing, what is the significance under the scheme? So under the scheme, about one lakh. So this, this is a total outlay, okay, for this uh, scheme. So the outlay will be around one lakh. It will be provided by the banks and other financial institutions and it will be given as loans to the people, okay? So this project, uh, the project by way of facilitating the formal credit to farm and farm processing based activities is expected to create numerous job opportunities in this rural area. So this can also be one of the uh, aims under this. So it also aims at creating new job opportunities or create generating employment, especially in the rural areas, okay? And now uh, let's move on to scheme. They also seek to extend a funding of rupees 1 lakh crore, right? So that is the outlay to boost the scaling up of agriculture marketing, okay, number one. And they also want to strengthen about 10,000 farmer producer organizations, which are known as the FPOs, as well as the self-help groups. Okay, so this, what are these uh, farmer producer organizations? So this uh, farmer producer organizations, they are mostly focused on bringing uh, on board, uh, especially for these small and marginal farmers to the uh, to pool their resources okay so and these resources will include your land and even for the better outcomes and they will also help them avail this institutional credit market linkages and uh, even they will try to uh, give them a formal scientific input which means that they will try to uh, give them all the improved technologies right so these are the uh, role of these FPOs, okay? So now you get it, right? So they will help, it is mostly focused on these small and marginal farmers, okay? So these are the roles, so they expect, the government is expecting to create about 10,000 uh, 10, farmer producer organization as such, okay, for this. Right, so these are some of the significances. And now let's move on with the questions. And through questions, we are trying to cover the whole topic, okay? So first and foremost, what, which of the following are the beneficiaries of for the scheme of Agriculture Infrastructure Fund, okay? So they, you can see the options here. The, options num the option number one is marketing cooperative societies. Number B is multi-purpose cooperative societies. Number C is agri-entrepreneurs. Number D is joint liability groups, okay? And number option number E is all of the above. Okay, so guys, the right answer for this is all of the above, okay? Now let us look into why it's all of the above. So the beneficiaries of under the scheme would be, first, and we have primary agriculture credit societies, which are also known as PACs, okay? And then we have marketing cooperative societies, we also have FPOs, we've already talked about, they want to create about 10,000 FPOs, remember, as well as self-help groups, okay, and uh, as well as the farmers under that. So basically, these uh, organizations will help uh, create a linkage to the farmers, okay, so usually the government, they won't be giving these loans directly to the farmers, but, but instead they'll be giving the loans to through this organization in such a way that the farmers can uh, they will be working in the rural areas, in this backward areas, where the farmers will be able to avail these uh, loans and this credit through these organizations and they can get the best benefit to it, okay? And we also have this joint liability groups. We have, it is also applicable to all the agri uh, agriculture entrepreneurs as well as all the startups on the agriculture sector, okay? And we also have multi-purpose cooperative societies as well as aggregation infrastructure providers and state or a central agency or it can be a local body which are sponsored by these public-private partnership projects. Okay, so these are the beneficiaries under this scheme, right? I hope this is clear. If you guys have any more doubt, do comment in the uh, comment section, okay? And now let's move on with another second question, which is on read the statement properly and you have to answer which of the following is or are correct, okay? So the first statement says it will have an interest subvention of about 3% per annum up to the limit of rupees 2 crore, okay? That's the first statement. The second statement here is mon uh, moratorium for repayment under this financing facility may vary subject to minimum of six months and the maximum of four years, okay? 
Number three statement, it will be monitored through a management information uh, system, which is the MIS platform, okay? So the options given here are number one, A is one only, which means only first statement is correct. Number B is one and two only. Number C is three only. Number D is one and three only. And number E says all of the above, okay? So guys, the right answer for this is one and three only, okay? So now let us look why the answer, num uh, the second option is wrong, okay? So first thing you need to understand, this loan, they will uh, have an interest subvention of, a, of about 3%, which is very low, right? If you compare it to other loans. So it's only 3% and the limit here is about 2 crore, all right? So 2, cro two crore is the limit and the interest uh, it will be around 3% per annum. And the second thing is that this subvention will be available for the maximum period of seven years. Okay, these points that I'm dot, I've written here, these are very important. Okay, so questions can come from here as well. So uh, now let's move on to another one which says credit guaranteed coverage will be available for eligible borrowers from this financing facility under the credit guaranteed fund trust for micro, micro and small on enterprise. So, which is also known, the acronym will be CGTMSE, okay? This is a scheme and it will be up to the loan of rupees 2 crore. So, in case of this FPOs, which is the Farmers Produce Organization, the credit guarantee will be availed from the facility which is created under this FPO promotion scheme of the, which is under, again, the Department of Agriculture, Cooperative and Farmers Welfare, right? And now moratorium for the repayment, this is more like an EMI, so where you can uh, pay back the money in installments, right? So they have to pay back this uh, money with the minimum, with, with minimum of six months and a maximum of two years. It's not four years, so we have to repay it by two years, okay? And moreover, this agri-infrastructure fund, they will be managed and they also will be monitored through an online management information system, which is also known as the MIS platform. Okay, so this platform will help them or enable all the qualified entities to apply for a loan under the fund, right? So these are some of the things that you guys can remember on this scheme, okay? So another thing is that, uh, one more point that you guys remember is that for the coordination, the national, the state, as well as the district level monitoring committees will be there, okay? So these national, state, and district level monitoring co committees, they will be uh, the ones who will be coordinating and they will set up to ensure the real-time monitoring and effective feedback from uh, for this scheme, okay? So all of this, they'll be coordinated through these three national, state, and district level monitoring committees, okay? And another, let's go to another question. So the another question says, how much amount will be dispersed for, dispersed for the current financial year, which is for this year, right? Under this agri-infrastructure fund. So the options given here are number A, which is rupees 8,000 crore. Number B is rupees 15,000 crore. Number C is rupees 12,000 crore. And number D says rupees 10,000 crore. Number E is 7,000 crore. So the right answer for this is 10,000 crore, okay? So these loans, uh, they will, uh, they have already sanctioned this a loan, which is 1 lakh, right? So 1 crore, uh, one lakh crore, right? So this loan, they have been dispersed in 4 years, okay? So for 4 years, they have been dispersed. And for the first year, they have already sanctioned of about rupees 10,000, which is in the current year. And 3,000, 30,000 crore will be for the next three financial years, okay? For the next uh, for the next three years, it'll be 30,000 crore and they will divide it into like maybe 10, 10, 10, right? For the three years. And but for this current year, they have given about rupees 10,000 crore. So, but the total outlay as a budgetary support by the government of India, it will be about, so rupees 10,760. 36 crore. So this is the right exact button. You can change it till about like into 10, 10, 10, 10,000 crore. So this is the right answer. And your if it's for the total outlay, then your right your answer would be 1 lakh crore. Okay, so that's going to be your answer. All right. Okay, guys, uh, we're going to the last question now. What is the duration of this scheme? Okay, of this agriculture infrastructure fund scheme? And the options given here are 
Number A is five years, and we have four years. Number C is 10 years. Number D is 15 years. Number E is seven years, right? So for guys, for this question, I would like you all to answer. So drop it in the uh, comment section. All right, guys, so this, that's all for today. Please don't forget to subscribe. You can also press the bell icon. Uh, for further notifications and if you guys have any suggestions on what topic I should take up for the next session please drop it in uh, drop it in the comments and and we'll try to take all the suggestions and we'll try to make another session as such right so whatever topics you guys are finding it difficult to understand or if you guys need more information on those topics do comment right and we'll try to help it and we'll try to have another session together and we can clear our doubts in sessions like this okay so uh thank you guys and we'll be meeting for the next session